we're going to start part three now, which is SF Consume. All right. Uh, I'm going to be picking on Sheila on this one first because Sheila is the lead SF here. She's the, the cool girl, you know. Um, so SF Consume, um, I have different, um, what do you call it? parts of it, but I'm not going to do what I did last time, which is like a, a jumble of, of stuff. So I'll, I'll, I'll do it in, in pairs this time. Okay. So people don't get overwhelmed. Okay. So let's start with the first part of SF consume, which is gathering new, the new, okay. Not, not the old, not something that you already know and you reconsumed it, you know, it's consuming something completely new. All right. And, um, for you guys, the SF is what's fun, what's popular, what's cool. All right. Uh, you know, Sheila is a hairdresser, so she definitely makes people look cool, uh, if, if anything. So, Sheila, how do you use SF Consume being the lead SF Consume person here? And you're also double activated on that SF Consume. Yeah, I got some. It's it's consuming for myself, obviously. Um, well, I don't know if it's obvious, but when I consume, it's what I want to do. It's what interests me. Um, it's what I find amusing, funny, interesting. Um, so, you know, like it could be very SF looking on the spectrum and it probably is because I, I do love, um, you know, hair and makeup and clothes, but I, I'm aware of the spectrum of what's popular, but because my FI is my FI, I might not pick what's popular like the rest of the people would, you know, like, I'm like, oh, everybody's, and this is probably a little IP-ish, you know, like everybody's wearing blah, blah. I, I don't want to wear that because everybody's doing that. So, um, but I definitely am very particular about um, how my appearance is, how I'm coming off to the tribe, how I look. Like, I would never get on one of these Zoom calls, you know, no makeup, hair in a pony, in my sweats. There's just no way that I couldn't physically do it. I would love to do it. I couldn't do it. There's no way. Um, like even going to the grocery store, even going to Walmart, I have to look halfway decent <laughs> and I can't help it. It's like everybody at Walmart looks like shit. Why can't I just go looking like shit, but I can't. And I don't know if that's just the SF in me. Um, but yeah, I, I love um, new, everything new, like even my house, um, you know, like I change out my comforter with, you know, maybe at least two times a year because I'm bored of my comforter, um, change the wall color in my house, um, change rugs, change towels, um, all the aesthetics, I guess it's like, new, I just want new, like I just redid my kitchen. I pulled like everything out of my cabinets and I got rid of like old baking sheets and baking pans that were, you know, gross. And I went and bought new stuff to replace them. And we lost a bunch of like silverware. Um, and I'm like, oh, ooh, and my daughter and I were shopping. And I'm like, look at these fun gold ones. These are new. I've never had gold silverware before. So I like bought all new silverware. And my husband's like, what's with the gold? I'm like, I don't know. It just looked fun and different. And so that's totally SF consume there. But um, consuming, like, yeah, it's just whatever I find fun and, and enjoying. And I don't like to, you know, I'm not one to rewatch movies or reread a book very often. Um, it has to really be in my FI that I just absolutely love one of my favorites, you know, then I will, but, um, no, I, I'll go to same restaurants, but I like to try new food. But if I have like a favorite then I will take, you know, try that over and over again because, um, you know, but yeah. Okay. I probably could ramble on and on about this. Yeah. The, the city that me and Julian live in, me, Julian and Abby, you know, everyone dresses like bums here. You know, we everyone's wearing like Lululemon pants and 
and like fitness clothes. So you probably won't like it here. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> um, all right, Abby, you have double activated consume also. Um, your your lead ST, but because of the double activated consume, you might be using consume more than ST actually. It's possible. Um, how do you use SF consume based on gathering new information and um, engaging in fun, popular kind of activities and whatnot? Um, so my consume is double feminine. So I feel like it kind of sneaks its, its way down to TE all the time. It just can't stay in that space. So everything that I'm consuming has a purpose, so to speak. Like, for example, it's like, oh, there's always a solution out there that I can buy. So if there's a problem, I'm like, okay, let's Amazon, like look at all these other things that I can use to fix this problem that's in front of me. That's a lot of the bulk of my consume, um, like literally buying things. And otherwise it's what hits an emotional core, but because I'm not allowed to focus on things that are hitting an emotional core, it has to be for a purpose. So for example, right now I'm um, crafting a syllabus for a course that I'm teaching on multicultural counseling. And so I'm like on YouTube for like 16 hours over a span, like literally in a day and watching all these clips that have an emotional resonance, but it's also for a purpose of building the syllabus. I wouldn't allow myself to do that if it was just for me, if that makes sense. So everything serves play, play still king, but it's consume is my, my tool, I guess, like my favorite hammer, possibly, does that make sense? Uh, you're also an EP, so you're gonna be the most addicted to gathering the new. Uh, talk about that that aspect of it, you know, because uh, you know, like you you won't have any breaks on on the new essentially. Um, I buy a lot of things and throw it out really quickly. Um, like that that was a big problem, <laughs> um, especially when I was younger and I you know, was working and now I have a lot of disposable income and I'll buy everything. And then the second that it gets into my house, I'm like, eh, I don't care anymore. So off you go to the donation thing. Um, and then, yeah. Or like video games. I feel like video games is what makes up a lot of my consume. If that's consume, that's consume, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, next up, is going to be Julian. Uh, Julian, you have consumed second. You have double masculine consumed, so it's gonna be the opposite of Abby. Um, how do you consume, you know, the new, essentially? I mean, I, I consume a lot of my time. A lot of my free time is spent consuming. And, and but I, very much so, like Abby, I feel like it serves my, my sleep. It, it serves that like, I, I wanted to have some kind of purpose, but it, it is also grounded in my FI of like, oh, what do I like? What do I want? And then I consume to serve that what I like, what I want. And so like, lately I've been on a big chess kick. And so like I've been playing a lot of chess, getting into it. And so I watch a lot of videos that are like chess related or like people playing chess or people teaching about chess. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Like I'm learning about chess in this case. And then I also, uh, I write articles and I, I want to pursue some kind of writing craft, you know, whether it's a hobby, whether it's something just, it's something that I put my FI to decide this is what I'm going to be doing for a while now. And so before I start writing, I'll read a couple articles and then I'll just see like, oh, what are other people doing? Like, I'll just look at what they're writing about, how they're writing, and then just try to get like ideas from that for my own, for my own sake. And then in the evening, if I have free time, I'll probably like watch a TV or like a movie or something. And so a lot of my day is spent consuming, but unlike wanting to do new, I really like consuming the same things like TV shows or movies. Like if I have something that I know is good, I'll be like, let's just watch that thing that we know is good rather than that, that new thing that we don't know is good. That, that's interesting because uh, you are OI, right? So um, you like to, I guess, loop at the same thing again. Um, we now have the last two individuals that are consumed last. This is gonna be super fun. Uh, we're gonna go with uh, Gray first. Uh, Gray, you seem to use the SF part of the SF consume, but what about the gathering the new information and gathering for the self? You know, are you doing any of that aspects yourself? Um, 
Yes, sort of. So, um, I would say I'm gathering plenty. Like, uh, today I've God, I don't know. I- I've been watching this one and this is where it's like, I will gather, but it's like, it has to get through the NF first. And that's where it's like, then I can gather. So it's like, it, it has to go through. I kind of view it as like, there's a function flow. It's like, it has to start with play blast. It gets down to sleep. And if it makes it finally pass all that OI, then I will just have this massive consume pile and that one thing. But that's not really the same kind of consume as someone who has many consume piles in many different areas. And they're jumping and jumping and jumping. It takes a lot for me to get down there. There's a big filtration system. So like I was watching video after video after video from this one channel called Cinema Therapy that I'm obsessed with. It's so good. And I love watching movies. And so like I will I will sit and watch an entire movie. I'll watch the same movies over and over again. I'll like ooh and all over the cinematography and I'll analyze the characters. Like I'll we I bought the entire um like Planet of the Apes series, all eight movies because I loved that. Oh, there's so many callbacks. It's a classic. I should watch it. Oh my God. I love this. And I bought the rest of them. We, I ended up binge watching all of them and just like losing my mind over this one series. And so it's like, I'll latch onto one thing and I'll get collect all of it. And then I'm like, okay, it's been three years. All right. Now I'll get a new one. So like, it took me forever to break up with Grey's Anatomy. Cause once I started consuming that I was never going to stop. It was in my NF. I owned it. I was, it's in my NI. I love it. I want to, I can predict what's going to happen every season. It's so stupid, but like, I don't care. I want to watch it anyway. So it's for me, it's like, I have to really, really get through all this stuff. And then otherwise I'm like, there's gathering that's happening all day. Cause I'm just talking with people and they're just saying shit. So it's like, all right, that's all coming in. That's filtering in. And I remember someone will say something like, Oh, that's interesting. And maybe someone else is saying, oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's interesting. I'll finally go look it up myself. Be like, this is great. Where has this been? It's been around the whole time. I just wouldn't go look for it myself. So that's a big, uh, I would say the the demon consume part. But as for the SF part, like I was a dog groomer. So I know like, like I groom dogs. I do my husband's hair. It's like, I've definitely like, and I like will go research makeup videos for myself and I'll go look up like how to do lighting and how to do my sound and how to do my camera. It's like, I'll look up stuff for that. But the camera isn't for me. That's for my audience and grooming dogs. That's for them. That's not for me. I'm grooming somebody else's I'm doing SF for somebody else. So it's kind of getting hijacked by DE there. And I'm like, cause everyone does everything. So it's almost like I have this little SEFE that's showing up because it's for someone else. But when it comes to me, I have been meaning, I have a budget for buying clothes. I've looked into a whole bunch of different clothes on a whole bunch of different websites. I've not bought a single thing. Oh, sorry. No, I bought new socks, real, real comforting, real enjoyable item. there. real SF is some new athletic socks. Um, so yeah, that's, it's, it's really hard. Cause I'll do these things. And it's like, Oh, well that's SF. Well that's SF. And I'm like, and how much of it did I sneak? Did I allow to come in because it was for other people? How much am I actually doing for myself? And then that shows up. Cause like, did I drink enough water? Did I eat? I had one meal today. I really need to eat more. <laughs> like, did I, am I listening to new music that I enjoy? Am I even taking care of my, am I going to the doctor? Am I doing basic things, taking care of myself and reality that you know, I really should do and take care of myself better. And uh, you can't make me, so I won't. And that's where the don't control me bro kicks in. So here you go. That's my, it's my happy little relationship with SF consume, which is very awkward and none at all. (laughs) Well, it's very well explained. So thank you for that. And uh, I I like how it's, uh, you do consume, but there's like a lag before you hop onto the next thing. And you need to have like tons of your like friends and family member to like harass you about it first before you'll You'll like finally take a peek, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's definitely like, there's a reason that I'm in love with EPs because they'll just keep bringing stuff to me and I will go into it at my own pace. And if it's really good, they won't shut the fuck up. And I'm like, all right, fine. I'll look at the stupid thing. Um, And a lot of times I'm like, well, what did you like about it? Because if I like you, then maybe we have similar tastes. And if we have similar tastes and maybe I'll like what you like. So I kind of use that as a filter too, of where I'll make them blast a little bit about it before I'll even get anywhere near it. It's like, okay, I got a highlight. Okay. It seems like it's decent. All right. I'll like dip my toe in the water. And then like, so I got into Jordan Peterson. Drew was watching clips of Jordan Peterson. And I was like, oh, what, what's that you're watching? He's like, oh, some dude on YouTube. I was like, oh, okay. I look him up and I'm like, oh, he's amazing. And I lose my mind over him for years. And Drew's like, 
you're still watching him ah oh, god i was over him a while ago i was like oh, well, i like him so it's yeah you get the point it's also very uh feminine where i'm like well, i like it oh I have an undercut. I have like a sneaky little FI undercut. My SF is hidden from everybody. That's another thing. I have SF and nobody gets to see it. It's secret. So that's a, another thing I see a lot of the consume last doing is like they have their SF, but it's hidden in the corner. No one can see it. It's all theirs. And if anyone judges them on it, they'll never ever talk about it again. And they'll never ever bring it up again because it's scary and hard to have it in the first place. It's <laughs> good. Um, Sorry, Vivian. can I just interrupt yeah, for a second? Work, really. I need to I need to go to work actually, like really soon. So I have to jump off the call. I'm I'm really sorry about this. Like I didn't know it would go on for quite this long. So like I scheduled it in and it would have been fine, but my boss was like, Oh, can you start two hours earlier? Because some girl is sick. And I'm like, Oh yeah, sure, it should be all right. But um, yeah, I waited way too long and now like I have to eat and shower and I have very little time. Oh yeah, no worries, man. Thanks for coming out, Julian. Sorry, everybody. It was really nice listening to y'all. Yeah. Roy, especially Thanks to Vivian for coming by. For not hearing mm -hmm. her answer. But um, yes. All right. Bye. All right. See you, Julian. All right. So, um, Vivian, you are going to be the most interesting one for Consume Last because you are the IJ. So, IJs like to overly organize and consume nothing new. Uh, talk about your experience with uh, gathering the new and. Uh, the popular, you know, the SF part of it. So I do notice where I actively avoid what's popular. Like I see like back in middle school, everyone was talking about high school musical. Everybody, they would not shut up. They kept singing the songs and I didn't want any of it. Then years later, I finally watched the movie because I was curious and then I was like oh I know why they liked it now <laughs> not my favorite movie still but I understand why they liked it then but I, I do see how for me the consume is just like it it's like I'm in this like time gap behind everyone else I'm like this old grandma watching these whippersnappers play their new fangled phone games and I don't get into it until months later when everyone's almost done playing it unless there's new content still coming out. And then I'm like, oh, fine, I'll try it since it's still here. And then sometimes I'll find myself liking things that other people liked long before I did. But now they don't like it anymore. And I'm just like, haha, I have it all to myself now. <laughs> So there is the, the new thing is not often. It takes me, I like Gray was talking about how it takes me, I will stay in a topic for years, months, depending on how interested I am in the topic, like psychology stuff. I was into it in high school and I'm still not out of it. Um, the majority of my interests are things that I've done forever there's some new within that but it's kind of slow <laughs> i feel like you're moving on from your consumers that maybe a little bit slower than gray because you're like an like a pure ij so it's it's it there's a, there's a even longer lag time you know um like that movie that you saw um let's cover the second part now for sf consume um this part, I kind of want to hear your thoughts on it as opposed to like, you know, sharing your experience. Um, part of SF Consume, I, I feel like it's like being in a moment, you know, like enjoying the moment, right? Like the SE is like being in a moment and then the FI is like yourself. So, um, you know, so talk about um, just being in a moment, enjoying the moment and um, possibly getting joy from the new, you know, like does, does the new bring you joy when you actually do it if you're Consume Last? You know, um, let's start with uh, Sheila first, you know, talk about being in a moment and getting joy from the new. Okay. Not my perspective. What you said that you didn't want it from our perspective or? No, no, I, I do. But like, like, if you don't agree with it, then you can disagree. If this one. Oh. Kind of okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I feel like I'm very in the moment when I'm doing the thing. 
like um for me um like going for a walk with somebody else it's like um it's like the the conversation starts flowing more and i'm like it's like almost my when my body's in motion my brain becomes in motion as well and i can process things quicker and and um less foggy i guess i think if when i'm a couch potato or laying around i i just almost get numb out and um real lethargic and tired and it it basically you know body at rest stays at rest and body emotion is emotion to an extreme for me it's like if i'm um you know like say this i decide to clean one drawer in the kitchen and organize it and all of a sudden i do it i'm just like this like oh it feels so good and next thing you know four hours later my whole kitchen is ripped apart and pulling everything out and like you know washing down dishes and counters and cabinets and it just it it snowballs for me, the, the, S, the SF play. Um, and um, yeah, it, and it comes out very aesthetically. Like I want everything to be pretty when I play. So, um, you know, when I'm gardening, it's like, you know, you're pulling the ugly weeds and you're putting in the beautiful flowers and um, yes. Um, and then what else was the question? Um getting joy from the new oh yeah i'm happy girl with the new like just when things look new and different and clean and crisp it's yeah it just makes me happy just down to a simple like hand towel if i'm at target and i'm like oh look at that new little towel and i put it by the back door where you know you wash your hands and it's a stupid hand towel but it's it's new and it's pretty and it's like I, I get that dopamine serotonin is it serotonin or that rush you know with just the new it's like my brain is like oh yeah like it's just my drug uh moving on to abby now abby is a little bit interesting because it's double feminine consume and earlier you said that when you gather stuff you're happy when you do it but once it reaches your house you don't like it anymore you throw it away um, you know, um, so talk about getting the joy from the new, not, not from the item itself, but maybe just from the, the act of having something new, maybe, um, and also being in a moment. Yeah. Um, I think, I think it's the excitement of possibility, right? Like it doesn't have to be anything like particularly monumental. It could be like literally going to get like I don't know, a burger I haven't tried before at McDonald's because they have a sale and I'd be like, oh my God, this is so great. Like, I love this. Um, so it, it could be really small, but um, yeah, I think it's it's hard for me to say because listening to Vivian and Gray, I realized how much consume happens in my life. I didn't notice it when you pointed it out because it's like telling a fish that it's in water. <laughs> it's like, okay, yeah, sure. And then, yeah, anyway. Um, but yeah, I definitely have no filter. I'm always consuming and making massive piles everywhere. Um, and that's what really keeps my energy going. I don't know if that's the same as joy. I would imagine there's overlap there. Um, yeah, it keeps me going. And I really resonate with like what she was saying about aesthetics. The aesthetics are really important to me. It feels like if something is off aesthetically that it's an attack. Um, I don't know if it's the double feminine thing but it literally like physically feels like it's hurting me if it's not the way that it should look. Um, so my room is really, or my apartment is like really, really organized. Everything's super, super neat. If one thing is out of place, it just, I can't. I can't do it. So there's this almost a sense of like consuming the environment all the time as well. Um, that goes on with it. Um, so that kind of speaks to the enjoying the moment piece. Um, I feel like with enjoying the moment, it really only truly exists in its purest form when I'm eating and experiencing food. Um, otherwise, um, it feels like there's a hard drive in my head in the back of my head that's always like processing whether or not people hate me because the masculine de is like so strong it's like oh my god did i say something that like 
like is somebody off like do they hate me what do they think about me so it's hard to be in the moment when you have that running in the background all the time but with food it's like everything goes away it's like okay fuck those people sorry excuse my french um screw those people gently um i'm gonna enjoy my food and you know this amazingness that is in front of me um yeah nah fuck them people <laughs> that's kind of scary that you can't fully consume knowing in the back of your mind there's like the, the people hate you with that mask and pee that's kind of scary having that you know um in in the forefront of your mind i, I never knew that like for you guys with mask and pe that that thought came in your head so uh, later on i guess maybe vivian can elaborate if she feels that way but you know, for me, I have mass, I have feminine PE, right? So I feel like, oh, everyone's friendly. You know, even that person that's just an asshole, that person's friendly too. You just need to know how to talk to them. You know, yeah. <laughs> so, like, uh, like I, I, I personally, I've always gotten along with the most aggressive, mean asshole there is, because I feel like, oh yeah, they're friendly. You just don't know how to talk to them. You know, like. I mean, the thing is not, it's not necessarily about like whether or not they're you can get along with them. It's like the threat. The threat is always there, even if you can get along with them, even if you can manage to build that relationship and turn yourself into somebody that would would get along with them, you're always processing the threat behind you. And I feel like, and Gray, you can speak to this too, if this is your experience, it's kind of an oxymoron with being savior DE, but then also masculine. You're like bending yourself backwards, trying to serve the tribe, but then they're like so scary. And you're like, uh, uh, like I don't know if I should like go, but also I'm scared, but like, go, oh, you know, that kind of contradiction. Yeah. There's definitely no torture. Like I have to be with the tribe. I have to be teaching the tribe, not just in and expending energy for them. And also if they say a mean to word for me, I die. Like, mm -hmm. that's like awful. Like, you know, I brought up like, you know, kind of pulling into like the new, right. It took me forever. I wanted an undercut for a while. It took me forever to give myself permission for that just because I had this fear of like, okay, I know that Drew said he's not the biggest fan, but what if he hates it? And then what if he hates me? And then what if it's resentment? And then what if, and then just like, this is some, he's like, eh, whatever. He doesn't give a shit. He doesn't care. He's like, okay, I don't like it. Whatever. I'll move on. And he just, if he it falls out of his head, I'm thinking about it for weeks. I'm thinking about it for months that he said he didn't like it. Even though he, it's a throwaway comment for him. That's how exhausting it is to have the tribe between you and the consume. Because if the tribe does not approve, you cannot consume, says, says my brain, says your brain. And it's like amped up all the way to the max for me because unless I've completed my play for the day, unless I've completed my blast for the day, I'm not allowed to go consume, which is why like, you know, I've noticed actually something I, I this is a pattern I've, I'm kind of putting together as we were sitting here talking is like, why didn't I eat food? I usually right before an interview, I can't eat because I have to be able to play and blast and interact with the tribe. So I'm, I can't eat because I have to be tuned in this way. And so I can't be tuned in this way when it comes to, and kind of pivoting to the overall question that you had, Kendrick is like, you know, when it comes to new for me, I, it's like, I can take a new by myself and I'm all in on self. It's like this sleep consume mode, or it's this play blast mode. I have like an anti skib brain where I can't go. I, it feels like according to my subjective perspective that I can't go back and forth between others and me while gathering as I hit my microphone. Um, so it very much is this sense of like, um, if I'm with everybody else, then I'm just with them and I'm tuned into how do I communicate to the best of my ability? What are they thinking? How are they feeling? And then if it, I'm by myself, it's like, okay, what do I value? And that could be either abstract or literal. It doesn't matter. So it's kind of, it feels almost like separated. So I, it's really hard for me to do gathering properly. It feels like, um, whereas when I'm hearing Sheila and Abby, they seem to be able to flip gears rather switch gears faster um so it feels like almost like consume i mean obviously this is the animal order but i'm you know just relearning it and reteaching it but it feels like you know for them first and second gear are right next to each other and for some reason my second gear is all the way last and it doesn't make any sense so um as for enjoying of the new it's the same kind of thing i'm in the moment with people and i'm in the moment when i'm alone it's just that i don't know how to enjoy myself with others around. And I don't know how to enjoy others if I want to be by myself. So it's very, just, it's very 
like heavy stepping across the DEDI line is kind of how I see it. Um, I'm trying to think, is there joy in it? Um, there is no one more like I like I feel like consume last like a little kid in Christmas like oh I got my hair done oh I, I learned this new makeup thing do you think it looks good and I'll like put on that voice and I'll happy dance like you know me eating like a, a perfectly cooked rare steak at a nice restaurant like there's I'm like savoring it I'm like you know like fanning myself I love it I'm enjoying it and I'm never allowed to do that and so it's like, I will sit there and be absolutely over the top, ridiculous with how much I love the SF. And I do that sometimes, like once a year, twice a year, I'll let myself go do that. So there's a lot of like enjoyment. There's a lot of delight, but it's uh, forbidden fruit. So it's really hard. And I mean, sometimes it makes it sweeter. I'm not used to it. So it's even like this overwhelming rush of forbidden fruit. But at the same time, there's a lot of pain associated with not being allowed. So win pro pro con you know win lose oh well, speaking of new it seems like you guys are the new best friend <laughs> you, you seem to that, that masculine pe and uh, feminine fi is like you just get well, it you? i also just like i mean i also i knew sheila i know viv i didn't know abby super well and i didn't know julian super well so it's just like i'm just getting to know everybody and i like people hello so you just bond with what you can bond with and from what I'm getting from you, both of you, both of you, is that the threat from the tribe is them hurting your feelings? Is that is that what it is? Like the, with the feminine FI? Um, I think it's more like an invalidation of my existence to not to bring that super dark or anything, but it feels like I'm not allowed to say my own, I'm not allowed to be in my own existence. So if the tribe has anything to say, then that just completely tears away who I think I am and who I'm allowed to be. I feel like I should make a joke now to like bring the mood back up. Um, no jokes. Joke. We're only SC. There are no oh, jokes right. here. We've never robot. been funny in our lives. We are robots. No, no, yes. absolutely not. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now that Good. we've made it clear. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I like the dark stuff, so it's it's all good to me. <laughs> but anyways, um, Vivian, you let's let's same question for you. Um, being in a moment, you, this is gonna be the hardest for you because you're an INTJ, right? Like NI the first, and it's masculine also. So being in a moment, I don't know if you can even do that. But uh, when 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 you are in a moment, do you feel like happy when it does happen? I don't know if it happens or not. Um, and uh, do you get joy at all from any new experience? I know you try to avoid new experience, but when it does happen, do you get joy from it? Um, so being in the moment, I'll take that first. I have to consciously say, no, listen right now. Listen to what's going on around you. I usually don't do that around people because that's a lot of noise. I use the moments that I find that I can actually be in the moment is when I'm alone outside in some sort of natural place where I can just sit and listen and feel the wind or the water like um i i have like a mental image of when i went to a new place when i was in korea um we went to an island jeju island and i went out into the water the water was very cold um and i just sat out in the water nobody was there were people on the beach obviously and they're around but it was like so quiet out there and I could actually just like sit and feel the cold but then almost immediately I would sink into sleep and think about okay what do I need to do in the future how can I argue with this person in my head and never talk to them about it so it's being in the moment not very often I've ever since knowing of OP and knowing that Essie is last. I've been trying to do it a little bit more, but it's very, very hard because it's feminine Essie and it's gone. Um, joy from the new. I, I know how like my energy levels tend to go from, they tend to follow my stack, blast, sleep, play. So late at night when I'm like playing a game with a friend it's very hard to stop the play and 
finally be like, nope, time to stop and actually read something for myself or watch something for myself. So if I do end up getting to do what I want to do, it's very late at night and it comes at the cost of getting more sleep. But because I set my schedule, I don't have to worry about that. So I do get joy from new stuff, but it's not very often and I have to think about it for a long time. Am I happy about this? I don't know. It takes me a little bit longer to be like, do I like this? Is this good? So it looks like I'm just like, like buffering until I figure it out. So it when people are asked, oh, did that taste good? I'm just like, what? I, I, I was eating, yes, but I wasn't actually thinking about whether it tasted good. It's just food for my body that I have to deal with. So. Um, I thought it was interesting you brought up being in nature because I would say like um, one of the best things for me is going hiking and like just being out because that makes a really big difference um, and turning off the phone like that's that's a big one because then the phone is a it very much drags me into play where it's like I can always just connect with another person instead of just enjoy the moment outside so I feel like oh god yeah <laughs> it's really bad but yeah I definitely feel like nature is a big um especially water I, like being by the ocean like sends me into this like very like trance like quiet like there's nf there but it's like just like I'm just here it's it's warm it's sunny there's the water I can hear it it's yeah yeah I don't I don't have better words for it because I don't have blast there I just have like this quiet uh, Vivian, so earlier, Abby and Gray were talking about like consuming gets a little bit challenging with the threat of the tribe. Do you have that feeling in you because you have feminine TE, you know, like you have consumed last, but you know, it's the tribe. You're also savior DE, you're also a tribe above self. So, you know, does that have you ever thought about that? Does that ha happen to you? I. I don't know if it's quite as intense as what they experience. I don't, I'm not in their shoes. Um, but I do know that when I'm consuming for myself, I like almost never share it to other people unless I know ahead of time, they also like the thing. Then I'm like, oh, I have free reign to be a little girl about this. Um, but most of the time I'm very it's almost very like very secretive like I think Gray was saying earlier like you don't get to know what I consume uh -uh. nope mm -mm. stay out um so I I know I get a little weird about that but I don't they were talking about like thinking of people hating them I just think about people judging me for liking that thing and be like, oh, that's so childish or something like that. And it's like, well, I'm not going to tell you then. <laughs> so that's my perspective. Gotcha. Uh, I'm probably one of those like judgmental people for like what you consume. <laughs> so don't tell me. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, kind of half kidding. <laughs> um, all right, so we're now done with that SF consume and we're gonna go to the last part.